We touched base on the events calendar in visitwaffordcity.com. The tourism calendar is part of the community calendar. The community calendar, as seen here under waffordcityevents.com, includes calendars from many different groups in the county. Chamber of Commerce, McKinsey County, McKinsey County Library, the Rough Rider Center, Tourism, the City of Wofford City, Wofford City High School, and Wofford City Parks and Rec. In review, under the visitwaffordcity.com, the events page only shows tourism. From this page, you would be able to click out to the community calendar as I've highlighted here. We'll cover the following elements of the waffordcityevents.com calendar. It'll be filters, we'll look at dates, specific events, category, or calendar. Or you can even submit an event. Access what you want, when you want, date range, like the events calendar on tourism, you'll be able to click a calendar range. Choose a category, you'll be able to list through the different categories, activities, classes, events, and so forth. Or choose the calendar, maybe you want to only know about the Chamber of Commerce, or the City of Wofford City, click only on that calendar. On this example, I've highlighted the areas by clicking on one of these icons. You can create an email, post on Facebook, or add the event to your calendar. One really big thing about this community calendar, for those of you who are working in the different industries or services or just want to have an understanding of what's happening and coming to the community, this is a great tool for planning employees' needs during huge events-driven weekends, such as the sporting events are the biggest ones. But even if there's a conference or a meeting coming into town, this is a great tool for you to understand how many people will be arriving. The anatomy of event. The event listing is a quick reference to the event. It gives you the event name, the event date, the type of the event is, and the organization who the event belongs to. The event detail, clicking into the event will provide you more detail on the listing. Event time and location, contact information, attachments such as flyers for the event would be located here. Again, the user will be able to email, post it in Facebook, or add the event to their personal calendar. Submitting event. Maybe through your organization or maybe through your association. It's basically a fill-in format. Enter the calendar to submit the event to. This is a pull-down option. Add the title of the event. Select the dates and times. Can choose multiple dates and times. And categorize your event. When you have completed this, make sure you press the continue to details. The details part is where you're going to get your creative juices flowing. The title is carried over from the first page. The header image is the image that appears in the list. It is typically best if it's a square image. A short description appears on the listing page. Fill in location, address, cost if there are any. The events detail, this is where you can go into more detail and it will be posted within the event. If you do add the website, make sure you include https colon forward slash forward slash ahead of your www. Attachments can be uploaded, a PDF of the event, a picture, any attachments that you would like to upload onto your event. Make sure you fill in the contact information. We need to know who is putting in this event, and so we can contact you if we have any questions. When you complete, press Save Changes. That's it. Your event has been submitted. We will review the event, and it's basically we're going to review the event to make sure that all the categories are included. This ends the training on WaffordCityEvents.com. Pop quiz time!